and reached out to us desperate to get help for her brother. Samuel Hodge has Down syndrome and is nonverbal and currently a ward uh, of DC, but his sister says that he is being severely neglected at a local hospital. She shared her story with our Randy Ayala, hoping to get some answers. And Randy, after making one call to the hospital, it looks like this woman is getting some help. Yeah, Annie, but she is concerned about uh, what this means for future people with special needs. And I did uh, make that call the same day I made that call to Bridgepoint Hospital, Capitol Hill. Wanda Hanna says she got an email uh, that her brother was being transferred, something that she's been asking for for months. And I did reach out to the hospital multiple times to get a response, but they never got back to me. Wanda Hanna says her older brother Sammy looked out for her when they were younger. Sam was like a protector. Samuel Hodge has Down syndrome and is nonverbal. Hannah says now it's her turn to protect him. Sam cannot speak for himself. I have to be Sam's voice. The 65 year old has been at Bridgepoint Hospital in Capitol Hill since February. Hannah claims he's being neglected. I've documented with evidence of pictures of the neglect of me finding my brother in urine and bowel movement with multiple bed sore wounds. Hannah says it's not just the hospital, but multiple agencies not giving Sam the proper care. While her brother was in the hospital, reports came in from her brother's group home and guardian claiming he was in good overall health. The quarterly report, a companion report, and a commitment report that states that my brother was actively walking around in the community and engaging in community activities. His nutritional needs were on point. So the question to me was, how is that possible? I reached out to Bridgepoint Hospital and Sam's Guardian to ask about Ms. Hannah's claims. That same day, Hannah received an email from the Guardian stating he was being transferred to a different facility. Back in 2022, WUSA 9 told you about another family fighting for better care at Bridgepoint National Harborside. A woman claimed her mother was being neglected and abused. Bridgepoint never returned my calls or emails regarding Ms. Hannah's claims. Meanwhile, Hannah says she'll continue to fight for her brother and other families who have loved ones with disabilities. Not only is Sammy experiencing neglect and abuse, they're violating his civil rights as a human being. He's a person. Just because he has Down syndrome and he's nonverbal does not make him non-existent. I also reached out to D.C.'s Department of Health. A spokesperson tells me they are investigating Ms. Hannah's claims of neglect and abuse. Marcella. All right, Randy, thank you.